Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your money, career, finance, focus reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Leo. Leo, please keep in mind that this is your group general reading for the complete year 2023 but it's a very focused money, career, finance reading. I'm going to do this reading in two parts. Part one will have the oracle card reading the energy, the angel message, the monology and the second part of the reading I'm going to pull out tarot for each month to give you insight, a brief insight about each month. Now this is a group reading so please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others and you know very well in case you wanted to have a personal private live reading with me on Zoom, WhatsApp video call, e-meet, Skype, my email ID, my website, my details are mentioned in the description box below. All personal private readings are paid readings, prepaid, pre-purchased, pre-booked and pre-slotted. Please connect with me with that understanding. I really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do on the channel, please do like, subscribe the channel and put on the notifications. Now straight to your reading. Sun, Moon and Rising Leo. Let us see the overall energies of your year. Money, career, finance. I already have a flyer out here. And I'm going to pull two more for you. Leo. Okay. Let us see what are your angel messages. Again a flyer. Choose a new direction, Leo. Okay. You have opportunity coming to you. Wonderful. And you have the not the right time. Okay. And in your energies, we have yin and yang. We have man holding a heart. And we have deceit for you. Okay. So your reading is a mixed reading. A year with a lot of surprises. A year with little ups and downs. Mix and match energies. Let us see what messages do we have from Monology. Okay, I've got two cards. Conclusions are within reach. Don't let your past hold you back. And luck is on your side, Leo. That's an amazing, amazing oracle card reading. Now, when I say yin and yang energy, there will be there will be two sides of each and every coin. There will be two sides, two aspects of each and every situation the angels are saying. Whatever new situation, whatever new relationship, whatever new opportunity, whatever new connection you are making in the year 2023, try to look the information in and out. Try to see all aspects. There will be a lot of mixed energy with each and everything. And in the year 2023, you have people, animism, enviousness in the disguise of people who are trying to be friendly, who are trying to be, to be your well-wisher. You do have few temporary losses in terms of you know, you feel it's a loss. It could be money. It could be emotional. It could be financial. It could be an opportunity. You are surrounded. You will be surrounded by people who you call them your supporters and well-wishers, but they are not. So Leo, in the whole year, definitely there is a very important message to you for the whole year. Be very, very secretive with your information. Do not be casual about your paperwork do not be casual about with your signatures do not be casual with your sensitive information you will be surrounded by very sharp shrewd and cunning people around yourself you have to defend not defend you have to protect your money affairs your financial papers and your important information throughout the year retain try to retain the important information with yourself you also have an energy of man holding a heart, which means throughout the year, encourage or motivate yourself to connect with yourself, 
with those opportunity wherein you feel that this is something more than your daily requirement this is something more than bread and butter to you wherein your heart lies wherein your passion lies something you truly want to go ahead in life and if i see your energy your angel card reading you have a brilliant angel message in the month of in the year 2023 the cards are encouraging you to choose a new direction leo think about it whatever you have been doing in the past years whatever career you were into whatever direction you were moving into the angels have a very clear indication a message to you a sign to you that it's time for you to take a leap it's time for you to think about the direction it's time for you to choose a new direction and to support you you will be supported with brilliant opportunity wherein you unleash your potential you unleash your skills and competencies and you feel that yes your professional life is aligning with your personal life and is aligning completely with your life goal your life purpose and all these things are actually aligning with your soul life purpose that's the meaning of this new direction and opportunity coming into your life you also have the card of not the right time this means for any important decision you know for any important move for any important money career financial decision do not take ad hoc information try to spend time with the newness if it's a new job new connection you know try to spend before taking you know before jumping before moving to conclusion get complete information maybe ad hoc changes will not help you you know more in in the shorter run and if i see your moonology card the card says don't let your past hold your back which means there are few connections there are few jo- opportunities there are few you know jobs or commitments which are holding you back maybe you are emotionally attached maybe you were the builder you created some seed it's not the time to look at past if you feel the existing professional commitment relationship job a project or business or a deal is not going to help you in future is not going to be worth to be into your life the card says it is not the time to hold yourself with your past it's actually the time to move on on to your life process because all the kind of conclusion you feel that oh this is my dream profession this is my dream opportunity this is my dream investment but i feel that it is not in my hand the angels are saying that every kind of conclusion every kind of you know your desire your wish your will is within reach you need to plan you need to strategize accordingly but all the conclusions are 100% into your reach and the beautiful energy says that luck is absolutely on your side in the year 2023 whatever you dream for whatever you wish for with a wonderful planning with a wonderful strategy you will be able to accomplish that for sure because you have 200 support 200 person support from your luck luck is absolutely on your side so you have a brilliant oracle card reading for money career and finances leo now let us see what messages do we have from tarot and i'm going to pull out 12 cards for the year and one card for each month please keep in mind that these are your group reading group energies group insights not individual personal readings just take guidance and proceed accordingly okay january you have 10 of swords something coming to an end you have two of wands in february okay in march you have temperance now look at your energies the temperance and yin and yang is very much with you in the first quarter of the year you know there will be completions there will be dilemma there will be confusion whether to stay back whether to move on you are done with something but suddenly there will be two different doors open for you 
two different career opportunities in front of you and you have to decide. April, you have the major arcana card, the wheel. May, you have six of swords. June, you have eight of swords. Queen of pentacles in July. The moon in August. Three of wands is September. Two of cups is October. The hermit is November. And the strength card is December. So if I see your overall reading, Leo, you know very well that I always like to be very honest, very sincere in whatever I communicate with you people. I do see the year is going to be a little tough for you. I do see there is a lot of mix and match you guys are supposed to do. There could be a situation of dilemma, confusion or indecisiveness, whether to stick back, whether to go, which direction to choose. And there is a lot of self-introspection which is needed throughout the year. And throughout the year, you have to hold on with your patience, your boldness and courage. That is the key to your success for sure. But I think this is also the year wherein you need to be very careful with your communication, the way you talk in your professional life. This year is the year of you need to, you need to maintain the balance in yourself. In the month of January, you have 10 of swords, which is clearly a sign that there is a painful ending to something you're professionally doing, Leo. And this ending, you say that I'm done with my limits. I'm done with my boundaries. There is nothing I'm going to bear as if now emotionally, mentally, I'm done with it. And I need to explore something more. In the month of February, there is a possibility that different doors get open for you. You start exploring things and once you will explore, you will feel that yes, there are possibilities for you to grow and there are possibilities for you to move out from your current situation. Now in the month of March, you have another temperance energy. Temperance is a major arcana energy which says that you need to be very careful with each and every step because there are lots of ups and downs and the situations are not same or similar what it seems to be. So there is no problem in case you are moving ahead, but you have to be careful with all your moves. So you have to be very, very cautious. You have to be very thoughtful and you have to take each and every step with great planning and great strategy. In the month of April, you have a major arcana card, which is Wheel of Fortune, which says that the time is going to change. Your stars are going to change. Your luck is going to change. And you will see that there's a lot of positivity, which is start pouring into your professional life from the month of April. So actually, you are going to pick up in the year 2023 precisely from February onwards. And Wheel of Fortune will ensure that the overall energy around your professional life, around your money situation, around your finance situation changes for better. In the month of May, you have Six of Swords, which gives a signal that professionally you are definitely moving forward. But when you are moving forward, you are carrying still a lot of blockages in your mind. And this is followed by Eight of Swords. This says that this could be, um, you know, a difference of opinion, miscommunication into your professional life. This is you also. I'm sensing this. This is you. What you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you're planning needs a synchronicity. And there is a difference in all the three. You need to be... This is food for your thought, Leo. What you're thinking, what you're feeling, and what you are actually doing. There has to be a sync between that. And if you feel that you are blocked into something, it is you who has to decide that how you have to come out of your difficult situation. In the month of July, the situation will become a lot more stable. The betterment of finances will come, better opportunities will come from the second half of the year and you will also be supported by a lot of intellectual, powerful, financial, wisdomful 
you know, woman into your professional life, somebody who will come to for, come for your rescue. And it is you also who will become more sensible, wise and wisdomful with your money, how you have to earn, how you have to save, how you have to spend, how you have to have a balance for short term, how you have to ensure that there is a financial stability long term. So you improve a lot as far as your financial wisdom is concerned. In the month of August, there could be a dilemma, confusion, illusion about something. But I would be very honest with you. Again, Moon says that you are surrounded by not so healthy people, not so good people, not so good well-wishers of yours. And this is prim primarily coming into your life from March and then it is getting prominent in the month of August. You need to be careful about what you are sharing, with whom you are sharing and how you are sharing and exactly what you are sharing. That is very, very important. In, in the month of September, you have the presence of your own energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which says that yes, the result of your hard work, the result, the positive outcome is expected and you will get better opportunities and yes, you will also get the result of your previous hard work because if you see you start planning for your future you start planning for the security the safety of your loved ones especially the safety and security and stability related to money career finances into your life in the month of october you have two of cups and this is a very important card for you in this time two of cups is a card that it says that it's a, it's a time for you for partnership, collaborations, joint venture. There is a possibility that you get opportunity through word of mouth. You will be joining hands with somebody as a partner, maybe as a working partner, as a joint partner, wherein somebody knows your worth. There is a liking factor between two people, two organizations, two parties. But this is definitely a great sign that you will be moving into something new to which you are known, the people are known, the situation are known and the kind of partnership, ventures, collaborations are coming up that is also going to suit you for sure. Look up to this. This is coming to you by the last uh, quarter of the year but this is going to be very, very fruitful for you. And in the month of November and December, you have a lot more to work within yourself. There is a lot of self-introspection needed. This is not the time for you to take action. I would rather suggest that in the month of November and December, you stop taking any major decision because you have a card of the hermit and you have a card of strength, which says that actions are not required. You need to put a stop to what major actions you are planning to take, what major steps you are planning to take. You need to go for self-introspection. Whatever you have done throughout the year, you need to see on paper what you have done, where you have come and how you have to plan your professional life accordingly. And in the month of December, you also have a card of strength, which says there could be a tough situation by the end of 2023, which demands your patience, which demands your courage, which demands you to maintain your balance, emotional, mental, physical, you know, uh, overall complete balance of your mind, body and personality. This is very important for you. However, I would also like to bring a clarifier out for the hermit and the strength. And it says four of pentacles. Don't leave whatever you have in your hand by the next year and keep a hold. Don't change. If you are planning to change, postpone the decision, hold the job, hold the project, hold the money, hold the financial deal, hold the investment. It is not the time to let go. It's the time for you to hold it for your stability and growth. It's a very eye-opening kind of reading. And this is a year of getting, of getting things done because luck is on your side. But more than that, you need to have the complete balance. You should be cautious enough to maintain the complete balance into the year 2023. Do let me know how you resonated with the reading. 
And you know very well that's a group reading. Please take it what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And for any personal private live readings wherein you can inquire about your personal professional life, your decisions, your opportunities, you need to discuss, you need to decide. Whatever you feel like, you can connect with me on the email ID or the website. All private readings are paid readings. I appreciate your understanding before connecting with me. I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.